Hello, Tyler Gorn here. I am entirely new, I guess, to Technical Minecraft YouTube. This first video is not going to be very technical, and I would never claim to be one of the one of the greats. There's a lot of very, very, very good people. I don't know if they're good, but they're good at redstone anyway. So there's a lot of people that are way better at this than me, but I figured I'd make some videos just in case they're helpful to anyone. And without further ado, this is going to be a short little showcase video. As you can see below me, I've got a water stream system. This sort of system would be useful, for instance, for item sortation. If you have a lot of items coming from a farm, and maybe they're a little bit uneven, a little bit random. There's extra items that you don't want to collect. There's items that you want to make sure that you collect as much as you can, etc. This sort of thing happens a lot across different farms. So the basic idea, of course, of a water stream system is that items come from your farm. They then get fanned across a, an array of filtered hoppers and then they get destroyed by a cactus at the end or you know thrown off into the void or you know lava or what have you now hoppers as most people who are have tried to do anything with hoppers in a water stream know they, they sometimes miss items the reason for that is that they have a four tick redstone tick that is four redstone tick cooldown period after they pick up or push an item and so that can mean that you occasionally get a situation where you have an item coming from your farm, it passes over the hopper, and then another one comes right on its tail and then misses, even though there's room in the silo beneath. And then that item would get destroyed by the cactus. So we don't want that. One of the simplest solutions you could employ is just doing a recirculation loop. So the items have you know a couple of tries to get in the hopper just in case they missed from cooldown. That's great and all, but let's say that our our storage system that's kind of represented by these filters here, let's say our storage system is full for that particular item. So in that case, if we're just AFKing, those items are just going to collect and collect, and it's going to cause lag for the server, it's going to cause lag for anyone else that's hoping to play, etc. So we want to avoid that. Um, so the way that I'm doing that here is by using utilizing the unique hitboxes of different states of the sea pickle item so we've got a pickles 2 state here and with that you can see the hitbox there are three one two three pixels of clearance there where the item can come bump up against the side of this hitbox and then it goes on its merry way um, cactuses cacti have one pixel of clearance here. So one plus three is four. When we have an item, most item entities, like regular item entities, they actually have an exact hitbox of four by four by four. So that item is going to just barely clear this cactus without getting destroyed, and then it's go, gonna go and recirculate. Finally, it hits this sea pickle with um, three now, with the three state, we only have two pixels of clearance. That actually means that the item is going to collide with this cactus. So without further ado and no more yammering, I'm going to go ahead and display this. So they barely miss. They come around, they get aligned on the last sea pickle, and they get destroyed. Pretty simple. I think it's useful in a lot of situations, and I'm actually going to show an example right now. Um, right. So here I am in a just another creative world. I've got a double witch hut, you know, one to the north, one to the south, and there's a, kind of an item collection shulker box loader system here. So we have, you know shulker boxes of various items that come from the farm, filters, and over on the side, um, I'm in 1.21.4 right now in this world, I've got crafters. So this is for redstone block crafting, and then those all get collected into this silo over to the side. So 
Let's take a look at it. Um, there's no items coming because, of course, I am in spectator mode. So let me put down a bot. All right, back to spectator mode I go. Any moment now, we're going to have some items that make their way over. It's actually a good opportunity to talk about another item management. I won't say best practice, but something that you might want to think about doing is um, thinking about item stacks. So when they're ejected from these automatic droppers, the items are just kind of random and like there might be one or two redstone dust and you know and it just creates more item entities and if you have a lot of things going on in your server that's going to be just adding lag for no reason so honey blocks have you know a kind of one like negative one hitbox uh, compared to their visual look why am i not getting any spawns here okay there we go um, so as you can see those items, because of the, the honey, this little pattern I have, they have a chance to bunch up into stacks. So there's even one more honey patch here, just in case we've got, you know, uh, those didn't quite make it, but you get the idea. So all of these items are going to go in toward the middle. And here I've got basically the exact same system. The little bit of water stream shenanigans to get the items to both from both the north and south to align against the side of these honey blocks. They then enter the system, bump up against the side of the two sea pickles, fan over our item stream or item sorting array. And if anything happens to miss due to cooldown, it has the opportunity, maybe we'll see it here. Get a lot of redstone, it might happen, might happen, might happen. It's not gonna happen. I don't know why I'm sitting here doing this when I could just force. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Now I blocked that. Okay, here we go. So now the redstone dust is missing artificially, but it's aligned and then it gets destroyed on that second pass. So we'll follow this guy. There he goes, aligned against the three sea pickles, destroyed by the cactus. One of the important details here, also, speaking of the cactus, is cactuses, cacti, of course have a condition where they can't have blocks directly on the side faces. So luckily water, flowing water and water source blocks, by the way, don't count towards that. And then glow lichen also doesn't count towards that. Glow lichen also has the unique property that it's not washed away by the water. So it's useful here as well. And I suppose that's kind of the video gonna listen back to this and see how many times I said um probably less than my first attempt but enjoy have a great day and maybe I'll make another one of these